Hello, BookTube. Uh, this is the BookTab, BookTube newbie tag. I figured I'd start there with the new year. And so the first question is, uh, why do you want to create a channel? My wife has uh, told me I should for a while now. And um, I'm just, you know, I've been watching uh, BookTube since uh, the summer. And I watch it when I cook or fold clothes or um, iron clothes, things like that. And, uh, and periodically, like if I, you know, if I'm eating uh, alone, not with my family. Uh, and so I've just really enjoyed the community and I'm curious about maybe contributing something to it beyond just watching what everybody else thinks and, and learning from them. Uh, what do I bring? Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully something. Uh, I wouldn't presume to bring anything to a community that's as learned and as uh, funny as what already exists, but hopefully uh, I can uh, fit in with that and um, be part of uh, that growing group of people who are, are reading together and, and thinking about how they read and, and, and why they read. Uh, I have sort of a weird background of reading um, where uh, my major was in molecular biology, but my minor was in the classics, so I've read a lot of like classical Greek and Roman literature uh, up through about the Renaissance, and then uh, I've always just enjoyed reading, so I read pretty extensively, and I've found it's amazing to see how many other people are doing that, and uh, hopefully I can connect with them and uh, share common interests or different interests and grow as a person. Uh, what am I excited about? I'm excited to hopefully add to the conversation, I suppose. I, I see a lot of people who read a particular type of uh, literature, whether it's um, classics, like I mentioned, or they read YA, or they read mysteries. And um, part of my reading, uh, I don't want to say regimen, but part of my reading uh, habit is to try and mix it up as extensively as possible, to read books from different genres, different time periods, different authors, uh, different author backgrounds as much as possible, um, and to really use that as a way to, to understand the world better, to explore more about humanity. And so one of the things uh, that I'm excited to see is other people who make those types of connections, who find uh, the intertextuality that exists in all sorts of different genres and then putting those together in exciting ways. And that's what I'm really interested in and, and why I'm finally willing to take my wife's advice and give this a shot. Uh, why do I love reading? Well, again, <laughs> it comes back to uh, what separates humans from everything else that's alive on Earth is that we have the ability to learn from each other. Uh, to we don't have to repeat each other's experiences positive or negative to learn from those so I'm a, I'm a high school teacher and so when I teach both science or math I'll explain to students we're about to encapsulate 2400 years of human knowledge in one 55 minute lesson and that's truly what is amazing about uh, humanity is that we get to learn from each other and reading is really the one of the key ways in which we do that we we learn uh, to think like others we learn to think with others and then we bring our own experiences to that to to in a sense refract the knowledge the way light does uh, within a crystal and we make it our own and it, it, it allows us to contribute back to something and so that's why I love reading. It's why I try to read extensively and across many different genres, across uh, many different time periods, is to just feel all of those connections that exist between uh, minds and lives across the millennia. And I think that's amazing. It's uh, one of the great joys of life when we get to do that. Uh, what book or series helped me start reading? Well, I was really fortunate. My parents read to me a lot when I was younger. Uh, I don't really remember a time where I wasn't looking at books, even if I couldn't read yet, I wasn't looking at books. Uh, I, I don't know exactly when I started reading, but I know that by the age of about five, like when I went to kindergarten, I could recognize certain words, I could recognize, um, and I knew a lot of words, so I was very interested in dinosaurs, had a lot of books on dinosaurs, um, and I was interested, I had a book 
and I should probably look up the publishing date, but I received a book for Christmas called The Buck Stops Here, which was a children's uh, book about the presidents. Uh, it came out during the first George Bush's presidential term because he's the last president in there. So it's pre-1993. Um, and uh, so I, I read that. I um, really enjoyed reading about the Greek myths uh, as, a, as a child. And then I just kind of kept going from there. Uh, questions to ask favorite booktubers. Hi. How do you keep doing it? <laughs> one of, that's one of the things I realized as I've entered my 30s is how do I make sure that I don't ossify or uh, start to lose some of uh, the things I appreciate in life and, and um, sort of plateau. So how do you keep doing that? Challenges probably time. I uh, I teach. I work. I work quite a bit uh, at, at the high school and within the high school district I work in, and then I try to spend time, a lot of time, with my kids, reading to them. My my daughters are pretty young, uh, three and one. So I, I try to read to them quite extensively, um, and then I I also try to take care of myself. I I name the channel Rambling Rack Hunter not just because I have a tendency to run on. But because I really do appreciate the idea of rambling, I try to get outside. I hike quite extensively. I live in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and so I'm outside pretty much every week trying to run or hike or spend time. Okay, uh, so the, the challenge is time more than anything. Um, wh when or why did I start reading? Again, just at a very young age, it was something I learned to do. Where do I read? Mostly at my house. I try not to read in bed. I try to have a healthy habit of sleeping so I don't read in bed. And what kind do I like to read? Everything. Thank you, BookTube.